So part one is the intro. One of the main things that I wanted for this Red Devil album and in More Luck Than Brains in general is, you know, a lot of bands nowadays have electronics on the spotlight and on the forefront, and I always wanted to start a song that the guitar starts it with like a lead phrase or something like that. I always love that stuff. This is the beginning of the song, so we're gonna start with that. On this part, you're gonna work on the techniques of pull off, pedal point, and also a little bit of reverse tapping as well. So let's get to it. <laughs> So down, up, down, up. Mainly this is 16th note, but on the very last beat, you're gonna speed it up a little bit. So then you continue like with a pinch harmonic. And then you change from the 10th fret to the 9th, so that makes kind of a E minor 7th chord effect. So what you do here is, there's a chromatic effect there from the E to the E flat that's gonna be the prep for you to reverse your hands and get the B, which is gonna be the fifth of the E, right? Right, so. And then you're gonna do a B flat, an octave with the G, so. G string and the G note on the E string, the, the double stop. And that's gonna build up the energy for the riff to come in. So one more time, everything slowly. Very important trick here, every time you use your right hand to uh, press a note, you're not gonna have the time to come back and get your pick, right? So what do you do for you to be able to be with the pick here and do the transition? You do this trick right here, slide your pick, and then you have your finger one free to tap wherever you want. And the second thing is that whenever you do tap, this is gonna be the kickstart point to the next note, so. Okay, that's gonna be every single time for any tapping or reverse tapping example, all right? Part two, main riff. This riff can sound kinda simple, but actually there's a little trick that I do that uh, most people won't even notice if you listen to the song. But I think it gives a special effect especially to my ears that I know exactly what I'm doing. So the riff starts like this. And then at the end. So what is the special thing here about this riff? Most people would play like this. There's nothing wrong with that. But if you add the open string on the D, it's gonna give you an effect that it's actually faster than it is because you're speeding up the subdivision. So by placing your, your pinky here and then leaving finger to own the root note, that's gonna make it a little easier for you to play it clean. So that's why I do it. Then the pinch harmonic and you're gonna use the Vespa pedal. So you're gonna just press it and then it's gonna... Then E minor, and then you're gonna finish off first round, it's gonna be uh, B flat and C. And then there's a little Vespa in action again. And the second time is gonna be so. Like that uh, sack while no more tears kind of thing like. Okay, that's one thing that we're gonna go through a few times here on the song. 